Hi friends! Hi, hello, hello, welcome to the stream. Um, big congrats to just a friend for getting the first channel points reward. Very proud of you there. And with a little, the little dancy friend. Heck yeah! Um, oh, and Penny's not here. Um, in case, in case you're wondering, uh, Penny is not here. No, no Penny's here. I never heard of him. Nope, 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 nope. Not happening whatsoever. Uh, no, no Penny's. Um, not sure why there's no Penny's, but you know what? Uh, there's, there's none of them. Uh, but anyways, hello friends. I hope you're doing well today. I hope you had a great weekend. Um, I had a, I had a pretty good weekend, except for all the homework that I got done. Or maybe because of all, I don't know. I, I did a lot of homework and now I have less homework to do overall. But it's still very tricky, chat. It's still very, very tricky to, to have to do homework all the time. Um, so yeah, that, that's pretty much how my weekend went. I, I got a ton of progress done on Cookie Clicker, um, because I just left it running while I was doing my schooling and stuff. So, you know, that's, that's pretty epic. That was, um, that was honestly kind of a highlight of the whole thing. Also found a website that isn't meant to be out yet. Oh no. Um, it's alpha testers only. Oh man. Oh man, very big, big sneaky stuff out here. All right, okay, okay. Congrats to to you, Penny, for being a little detective. I mean, a little detective sometimes. That's all. It's available to the open internet. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. That's um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wild times. Um. Oh, what was I gonna say? Uh, oh yeah, it's the last day of 119. Um, tomorrow 120 opens up, and um, it's made by Advait the Nice Pog Poggies Pog Champ. Um, but yeah, it's the last um, last day before 120, so that means that tomorrow we're gonna start getting into finding armor trims. We're gonna have to figure out the whole thing about like netherite. Um, yeah, it's gonna be crazy times. It's gonna be. Crazy, crazy, I bet these one of its and bad things in its GitHub read me, so I went into the source code to read me and saw the URL. Mmm, gotcha. Well, that's a bit cringe now, isn't it? Um, that's, that's a bit, that, that's, uh, that, that's a bit cringe to leave that in your, um, to leave that in your code, huh? Well, that is the end of our intro section. That is where we're going to end that there. Um... We've got music to listen to. I don't know if we're going to stay on this music or if we're going to go to different music. I will decide later. And we're going to go ahead and switch to the scene. Three, two, one, and pop! Welcome back to my hardcore world. It's pretty nice around here. I'm a big fan of it. I'm a big, big enjoyer of this. <clears throat> um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty nice around here. We're, we're vibing. We got all the cats. We got all the pets and stuff. Um, they're all, they're all just thriving out here. And, um, currently, uh, I can sign up from the site. Bless. 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 Um, but yeah, so the current project I've been working on is that, um, I need an awful lot of crying obsidian at this moment in time. Because I'm making a whole ton of, uh, of, of respawn anchors so that I can put them into my build and it's it's taking such a long time like I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest here um crying obsidian is really really difficult to get a lot of so I don't know maybe we're gonna go back to doing that today um maybe we hard focus the glowstone trading because I also need a ton of glowstone for the respawn anchors um or maybe I don't know maybe I like Maybe I like build a gold farm or something for um, to to increase my trading prowess so that I can get more crying obsidian. The possibilities are endless. Not really, but you know, there's at least one possibility. There's there's at least one possibility of what to do with that. I don't know, chat. I don't know. I don't know. Building a gold farm is probably the way to go. But I'm gonna be honest, I have no clue how to build a gold farm. Um, so that's really awkward. That's really quite particularly awkward for me. I just walked onto this table saw. Man, if this were real life, I would be in such trouble right now. But luckily, it's not. This is Minecraft. Uh, it is, it is big Minecraft energy. 
I can also work on like these sections up here, but I don't know chat now that I've started on Now that I finally figured out what to do with these sections here. I'm really tempted to just hard focus it uh, So I got my cool little embed thing. Oh, yo I want to see I want to see Oh, Shows what I'm doing. Oh nice. Yeah playing twitch That's what it says that you're doing are you are you playing twitch right now is that indeed what you are doing i could have sworn just based off of the lighting you know that it was um getting to be night but oh well that that's fine that's fine uh, it, it's, it's totally chill that's twitch <laughs> unless you're broken mm -hmm. yes i have no clue what twitch is so uh so that's really awkward for you because um because it says you're it says you're playing it and uh and it doesn't even sound real so you know there's um there, there's some bad news for you there there's some some very very unfortunate news there Whee! okay so what we're doing is looking at my supplies of gold and stuff so I've got a couple stacks of nether gold ore that I could smelt to get some more gold but uh, uh, five stacks of gold won't get you very far in the Crying Obsidian game, especially not in the numbers that I need it. I could smell up this gold here, but this is only really like, I don't know, nine or so stacks of it. Which still isn't very far, and also I don't want to smelt gold ore because I think it's pretty. Yeah, this may read me on my website. Oh, currently online. Mmm. Mm, I see, I see. That is kind of cute. So chat, I mean, I could just look up a gold farm tutorial, like, right now, and then we could go find the resources to go build it, and then I could, um, and, and then I could just sit there for days on end waiting for it, like, waiting for the amount of gold I need. That is, that is an option, isn't it? Hmm. What do you guys think? Do we, um... Do we, do we gold farm? Do we farm the gold? Whee! Or again, I could glowstone focus. Um, I, I need a lot of glowstone. I've only got one, um, I've only got one cleric. So it's, uh, so I, I can really only get like 24 glowstone a day. Um, let's, let's give them a minute. Oh, yep, there we go. Well, um, yeah, so this would- this would be, like, my glowstone allowance for the day. So maybe I get a second one so that I can get more glowstone per day. You know, that would be- that would be kind of fun. Because I'm gonna need all the glowstone to build the- the respawn anchors, and then I'm going to need four glowstone per respawn anchor to charge it to the max. For the pretty lights, uh, cause I, cause I like the pretty lights, um, which it's gonna be so stressful for me to do, due to the fact that uh, it is a bomb, that it is a literal bomb, an actual bomb, um, but it does mean that I need a ton of glowstone. So yeah, I see two options here. We go down the route of doing things that'll make it easier for me to get crying obsidian, or we go down the route of things that will make it easier for me to get glowstone. Hmm. I'm kind of thinking it's not going to be a ton of crying obsidian, but theoretically I'm going to do a lot of exploring tomorrow, right? I'm, I'm going to do a lot of exploring to find armor trims. Go to Adrix's website, uh, you can see all the little status things, including status playing, coding, listening. That is cute. That is, that is very cute. Um, I could probably pick up a bit of Crying Obsidian while I'm doing the exploring by just, uh, you know, whenever I encounter a ruined portal, taking the Crying Obsidian. Um, ultimately, probably the best choice is for me to find a, a gold farm tutorial. So let me just see if I can, let me just see if I can pull something up. Um, do, 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 do. Um, 119 Java. Well, I've got Minecraft easy and efficient gold farm tutorial 119 10,000 plus items per hour, I think. 
Um, we've also got Minecraft Easy Gold Slash XP Farm 119 AFK Extremely Efficient. We've got Gold Farm 21 Plus. Uh, 21,000 per hour Minecraft 119 tutorial. That one doesn't say easy. Oh, in the in the description it says fast and easy gold farm. Um, this one says easiest 119 gold XP farm in Minecraft, 50,000 items per hour. Um, it all kind of looks like it's the same farm though. I, I kind of I kind of feel like that's the same farm. Um, just from just from what I'm seeing of uh, of the images here, um, it looks as though it's all the same farm. Oh, random place! Hi, thank you for the follow. Um, welcome into the stream. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> I'm currently deciding if I want to build a gold farm or not because um, let me show you. Let me show you real quick. Let me show you just real quick. Down over in here, I'm using respawn anchors as a building block. Um, which means that I need a lot of Crying Obsidian. And kind of the best way to get Crying Obsidian is to trade with it, is to trade with piglins for it. Um, but you need a lot of gold to do that, and I don't have a lot of gold right now. So, it might be gold farm building time. I don't know. I, I, I don't like making farms, because I feel like they always intimidate me by being, by being so much, um, so, so far outside my reach. Um, okay, I'm here because I have a gold farm that I suggest I've been built and some materials required very effective. Ooh, that is tempting. That is, that is tempting. Um, that is, that is very tempting. Um, yeah, I mean, if you wanna, if, if you'd like to, uh, suggest it, then I, I, I'm, I'm listening. Um, <laughs> I'm not a farms enjoyer. Oh, it's an ENX04 one. Oh, I didn't know ENX04 had a had a had a gold farm. Oh my gosh, yeah. Uh, I love ENX04 builds. Um, hold on, let me. Hold on, I, I didn't know he had one. Whoa. Yeah, I've got um. Oh, here I should pause the game if I'm not uh not looking at it. Um. Yeah, I've got his bee farm, and um, actually, you can see just right over here the iron farm that um, that he's got. Uh, I'm I'm a big Enx04 fan. Oh, and also the guardian farm. Wow, I just build uh, Enx04 really makes a farm, and I say, wow, I wish to build this. Oh, I love the Minecraft Elegance series. Okay, next up, let me cipher all that. Oh, Pog Penny, Pog. Um, okay, chat. Uh, we're gonna. Okay, give me two seconds. We're gonna watch this. We're gonna watch this tutorial. So let me let me pull up a quick um, a quick private window for this. I love the Nexophore's work. It's so good. Okay, hold on. Give, give, give me just um. Give me just a couple seconds to get this worked out. Um, I gotta add a source for it real quick. Let's go for a window capture. Um, ah, uh, gosh. Yeah. we go all right all right all right let's go ahead and just pause the music for a moment so we can watch in xo4's minecraft elegance all right that's probably good volume levels i will just if it if it is not hi this oh, is oh that's very loud sorry 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 new type of gold xp farm that is both incredibly easy to build in early survival and crazy powerful Okay. This farm oh, wait, can be built in less than 25 oh, minutes using barely any oh, materials gosh, hold on. it doesn't even use magma blocks and yet this farm cranks out the equivalent of hold one on, hold on, hold on. every 10 seconds and can take you from level 0 there we to go. level 30 in about one minute. This rivals the productivity oh, of some of the I can turn up a bit then. But takes only a small fraction of the time and resources. I love you next to four. So good. So good. The good. the full list of everything that you'll need before starting this build. Okay, so, um, so Ender Eye, Flint, 
uh, diamond pickaxe, turtle egg, 54, is that obsidian? Yeah. 54 obsidian, 17 trapdoors, 13 slabs, 12 ladders, uh, two chests, crafting table, and then a stack and a half of glass. This is a complete list. That you is... One turtle egg that you can very simple. Wow. Silk touch after breeding turtles with seagrass. And I think I've got some. I think I've got some for uh, turtle materials. eggs. You'll need an ender pearl to get to the nether roof, flint and mm -hmm. steel to activate portals, a decent pickaxe, and some food. The farm itself is little more than four nether portals placed strategically to act as an elevator that brings mm. mobs from a spawning area up to the AFK spot, where you can use a looting sword to quadruple the number of Got mobs it. farm. The zombie piglins spawn just below the bedrock ceiling of the nether, inside uh -huh. two rooms that you hollow out from the nether rack. Okay. Creating the spawning area this way is highly efficient, since any pickaxe better than diamond deficiency 2 can mm -hmm. instantly mm -hmm. mine nether mm -hmm. roots letting you hollow out this space for spawning platforms much faster than you could build them by harvesting and yeah. laying down individual magma blocks. There are virtually no naturally occurring spawning surfaces this high in the nether, so mm -hmm. there isn't any spawn proofing that's necessary. And the spawning Woo! rooms that you make aren't tall enough for magma cubes, gas, and endermen to spawn here, so you don't need to worry uh -huh. about getting rid of them. The zombie piglins that spawn are drawn toward a turtle egg in the middle of the spawning area. They really do be drawn towards the turtle egg. Them away. Ordinary piglins also spawn here, but they run away from zombie piglins. And since zombie piglins head toward the middle of the spawning area, the regular uh -huh. piglins tend to run towards the edges and corners, where they yeah. despawn once they exceed 128 blocks of distance from the player. Okay. The zombie piglins are teleported to a bridge in the overworld that is built high in the sky and has uh -huh. another portal on each side. One portal is slightly lower than the other. So this is the one that the zombie pig... Side note, sorry if the constant like, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh, sure, is um, annoying. I feel like I have to say something while we're doing this, but I, I don't know. ...piglins arrive in when coming from the spawning area, since it's closer okay, in so they push each other over to After the other portal. ...mobs require 15 seconds of cooldown before they can go through another portal again. Look at all of them so packed in there. constant stream of new zombie piglins to slowly shove the crowd toward the higher portal. Nice. This higher portal takes them to the nether near the build limit and feeds them into a killing chamber right by the player, who stands mm -hmm. directly over the spawning area so that it's the only place where mobs can spawn. The preferred weapon nice. for killing the zombie piglins is a sword enchanted with sweeping edge, smite, looting three, and mending. But anyway, okay, I can I can get to that later. Even no the skin weapon, and you can let the zombie piglins. Don't worry, Penny. This Penny, this man is a genius. It's it's okay. It's okay. You won't get as many drops this way. The skin doesn't matter. The player inventory serves as a sorting system for the farm, letting you pull out all the gold nuggets and ingots from the killing chamber. So while I need to the have a, a space to clear my inventory. On their own in five minutes. You simply reserve one or two slots in your inventory for gold ingots to catch the occasional one that drops from killing mm -hmm. a zombie piglin, and fill in all the other available slots in your inventory with at least one gold nugget. This uh -huh. delivers the gold from the farm directly that's into really, the inventory, that's really making it a, a, a neat collection system. Ingots and blocks, so that you can free up more space for farming. Got it. All right, now let's get to building. You'll see in this tutorial that I use smooth stone. Smooth as stone. The the skin changed. Oh dear. I do this just to make it easier for viewers to count blocks, but you can use any convenient building block like netherrack. Uh huh. Start by finding an open area in the nether waste biome and go up to nether the highest biome. part of the by building a staircase or pillar. When you get to the Kay. top, work your way to an area inside the netherrack so that you stand with your feet at Y one hundred. Oh gosh, we're gonna have to go to the nether roof. Press it's so spooky and G always. To lines for chunk borders, and follow the chunk borders to carve out a room that is two blocks tall and two chunks. I could two just chunks in horizontal socks. Hmm. That's thirty-two by thirty-two blocks. You might come across a tiny. Could I reuse my nether roof portal from the guardian farm? No, there's probably guardians inside of it. I don't. Oh, that probably wouldn't work very well pocket of lava when you create this room but there are no pools of lava mm -hmm. at this altitude so this is quite safe when you're done oh sorry entirely missed how big the room needs to be f3 and g to turn on the grid lines for chunk borders and follow the chunk borders to carve out a room that is two blocks tall and two, two chunks tall. by two chunks in horizontal size sorry the highest part of the uh, i'm supposed to be at a chunk border wait uh when you get to the top don't die i will not an area inside the netherrack so that you stand with your i will not 118 
Press F3 and G to turn on the grid lines for chunk borders, and follow the chunk borders to carve out a room okay. that is two blocks I, I will just simply not die is all. I just, I just won't. I don't know that's that's scary. I'll wear, I'll, I'll, I'll wear, I'll drink fire res. Might come across a tiny 32 by 32 blocks. But there are no pools of lava at this altitude. So two blocks so high, 32 by 32. When you're done, use the F3 debug screen to double check that the entire room is in the nether waste. It has line. to be in the nether waste. You collect at least six stacks of nether so that you can use these blocks later on. I will, I will certainly certainly have six stacks of another rack where the four chunks intersect and build the frame for another portal you'll need to okay. dig out a few blocks from the floor and ceiling to make room for the obsidian frame when you're done write down the cool, x cool, and z cool, coordinates cool, cool. of the portal or take cool, a screenshot cool. this is critical information that you will definitely need later on it doesn't now, wait okay from if i remember from the last time i did another roof thing um you don't it doesn't matter which block you're standing on when you do this because it's mostly fine, right? As long as it's like on within the range. It's ten blocks to make a small room. I'll, I'll look it up later if I'm worried. Portal, so that the only way to reach the egg would be to go through the portal. But don't Me when I go through the portal. Any zombie piglins nearby will immediately try to. Me when I try to trample Instead, the zombie egg. Instead, build a staircase to get your feet to Y one twenty one, and then repeat Y one twenty one. Two chunk by two chunk space directly over the one. Two chunk below. space. In the same chunks that we did on the previous one. In each corner of the spawning area, create a two by two hole between the two layers. Cover the hole with trap layers, and then trap open it so that regular piglins so can drop down walk and despawn as they try to flee from zombie piglins. Got it. Back in the center of the room, place two blocks over the portal frame and extend the walls of the staircase to the ceiling. Go down the staircase and wall it off behind you. On the other side of the portal, remove the two okay. netherrack blocks overhead. Next to the um, portal opening. Uh, 126 or 127 is when you need to jump forward to get to the roof. Uh, try not to suffocate. I, w I will not. I will not suffocate. I promise. On the higher platform I'm very good at not suffocating. As well. Place the turtle egg on top of the bottom step of the staircase. And I just simply will not. To prevent zombie piglins from trampling it. Got Finally, it. Activate the portal to finish the spawning area. Do not go through Take the portal. To double check your work. Make sure that Do no not go through the portal. The Got it. Thanks, subtitles. Appreciate that. Make sure that the turtle egg is sitting on a solid block, is shielded by a trap door, and mm -hmm. has at least two air blocks over the egg. Got Make sure it. That the portal is activated, that you have the X and Z coordinates for Do the not go through. Recorded, and that there's a hole in between the spawning layers next to the portal uh -huh. for zombie piglins to drop through. Got it. Got Check it, got each corner it. to make sure that there is a two by two hole in between spawning layers. Two by two and hole. You have open trap doors in each. Now set a ladder in a corner to get yourself up to the higher layer, and check again that there's no way to reach the egg other than dropping down and going through the portal. Now we need to mm -hmm. access the nether roof. Go to a corner of the oh, room, no. and from there, explore above to find a bedrock block overhead at Y126 oh, no. or Y127. You can press F3 and use the I, w I was so stressed. On the right um, side of the screen to I was so stressed last time I did this. That you're looking at. I was so them, very stressed. All the way up to the I could, um, I, I guess I could try to find the area I dug out for the previous tunnel, because at the very least, I know. No, I mean, getting to the nether roof is going to be fine. That's, keys at the same time. that's fine. Throw an ender pearl straight at the ladder as you continue to hold down both forward and forward jump keys. And, jump and keys. you'll go through to the other side of the nether bedrock. Mm -hmm. This will sting a little. Hi, Mr. Maluk. Um, are we building a gold farm to speed run getting crying obsidian? Pretty much. That's that's pretty much what we're doing. Um, the, oh, the nether roof has a 60 out of 100 vibe. Oh, no. Oh, I'm going to have to do some things to increase the vibe on that before I actually go. So be careful if you're low on health. Eat before you go. Got it. Chunk Once you're on the roof, go to the X and Z coordinates for the nether portal and pillow okay. up until your feet are at Y244. Elytra time. Glass block under you Where so are the elytra? So that if I fall, it's fine. Bridge out on 20 glass blocks and build a glass frame blocks. for another portal that will serve as the entrance and exit for the farm. And Got put slabs it. on top to spawn proof it. Put guardrails on the far side of the portal so that you don't accidentally stumble off when using it. That's a good. The that's a good plan. Now head back to um, the Ever do another roof vibe dance? Yo, cat jamming! Should we make way for users to specify what the vibe is for? Mm. Because aren't it's a cube or yourself? That's a, yeah. a six by six yeah, that's a good platform. thought there. Six by six gold, uh, a glass platform over over where the, the, the thing is. 
Add okay. two temporary blocks on top of the pillar, followed by an obsidian block. Your feet should now be at Y uh -huh. 249 when standing on the obsidian. Y 249. Build the frame for another portal, again with spawn proofing on top, and then jump down to your platform. And I don't think it matters temporary. which way the and obsidian the goes from here, but... Um, blocks. Oh, it should actually probably be in the middle of the six. That's, that's probably what matters there. Using slabs so nothing can spawn on it. Everything else is glass. Okay, I'm trying to I'm trying to get better understanding the principles behind the farm uh, the farms that I build so that you know I'm not just blindly following instructions and I understand some things most of the time. Things like spawn proofing. Stand under the portal and place a crafting table under the opposite side crafting of the killing table. And table. Place a double chest. As double the chest. Of the Pillar up on five blocks next to the portal and wall off the back side of the portal with blocks and slabs. Add me when I wall off the back side of the portal and then crouch down so that you can enter it. Okay. So light the portal, crouch to go through. Um, it'll take you to the other side. Once you're in the overworld, oh. destroy the portal that you just came to. Destroy through. it. Now cool. Multiply the X and Z coordinates that you recorded earlier by eight. And X and Z up. coordinates are of the one in the in the spawning chamber. This location until your feet are at about Y 190, and then add an obsidian block. Correction: Y 191 or higher. Thanks, subtitles. Build a frame for another portal so that the portal is three blocks wide on the inside, instead of the usual two. Hmm. Interesting. Probably because we want um, Add a wall the, the, the boyos to get through. Block mobs from falling off, and then bridge out the other direction by 11 blocks. And build okay. another portal at the end of the bridge so that it lines up with the first one. Except for that cool, this one cool, is just cool. one block higher in altitude. One block higher, but we've got the slab at the end that's that is gonna let them push the push their friends through. I remember from uh from the you know, beginning thing. There should be ten blocks in between the two portal frames, <sighs> and only the lower portal should have a wall behind it. Mm -hmm. Finish the bridge and add guardrails between the two portals and add three slabs to the floor right next to the higher three portal slabs so that the mobs right will there. automatically go up a block when shoved towards the portal. Mm -hmm. Now light the two portals and use either one to take you back to the killing chamber. Jump ah, over the killing, the killing chamber, chamber. Alive, and the farm will start working once you land on the platform. It'll me take when about a the killing to the chamber bridge to fill up with zombie piglins, and then you'll start seeing them show up at the killing chamber. While you're okay. waiting, stand under the portal and move your inventory into the chest. Place That's what the chest is for. Place a into one of your inventory slots, and place a single gold nugget into uh -huh. each of the remaining slots. When the Got zombie it. piglins arrive, swing at their feet about once per second so that the sweeping per second has time to charge up each time. When your inventory fills up with gold, uh -huh. step away from the killing chamber so that you don't Got pick it. up the junk inside. And then craft the nuggets in ink. <laughs> Where's the submiring subtitles? Listen, subtitles are good. I love subtitles. It's into gold blocks so that you have room to keep going. Me one block of gold. Listen to those piglins just dying. Wow, big, big sad for piglins right there. This farm should have no issue working in single player, um, or if you're the only player on a server. Oh my gosh, thanks but for the hug, friend. Appreciate it. Server, you'll need to either make I am, sure that none of them are in the overworld. <laughs> I, I'm just, uh, just watching this tutorial. Onto the rails of the bridge. Oh, wait, sorry, what? Player on a server. But if there are other players on the server, okay, there are other players on the server, so I'm not. I don't think I'll need to worry about this, but have an alt account or friend jump onto the rails of the bridge instead. Uh oh. Uh, oh gosh, do I know, do I know the tune for this? Um, I know I know this song, Mister Milk. I know this song. Um, uh, she asked me, she asked, she asked me, son, when I grow old, will you build me a block of gold? And when and when your father turns to stone, will you take care of me? Good song, good song, Mister Milk. Um. Uh, how are you, Quimby? I'm doing pretty alright, friend. Thank you for asking. Uh, uh, how are you? Are you doing well? Hope you are vibing. Um, we gotta have a parkour map, parkour map moment. Set a block overhead to prevent I built one for you, but not this for the person who asked you. Mm. That the zombie piglins don't have a chance to despawn me when, um, the me when, when I build done, a block of gold. gold your friend as a way to say thanks, or swap places thanks, so that you each get a turn. Nice. Haven't seen four days feeling good. Oh no! An XP than you'll ever need. Oh no, friend! Apples, oh, that's so carrots, sad. Beacons, trading gold with clerics to get no. Bonus, bartering, which lets you get soul speed, 
I hope you I hope you sleep. Ingots and piglin safe armor are some wow. Aww. I hope that you've enjoyed this video uh, and uh, be sure to bless. check out the video description for additional uh. tips and corrections. Thanks for watching. Okay. Um so that's the that that's the farm. Um I am uh I I'm I'm I think I could build that. I I think I could build that. Call me crazy. I think I could build that. So, let's uh, let's see if we can find the materials for it. Um, just like the old days. Oof. Oof. Rip, 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 king. I was gonna say rip friend and I realized that that's just actually your name. Um, so rip, 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 rip to you. May you, may you sleep another time. Um, I believe you can. Thank you for the vote of confidence, random plays. I appreciate it. Watch as I die horribly and comically along the way. <laughs> uh, friend should have been my actual name. Uh, it, it's a good name. It's a good name, sir. Boop. Boop. All right. Uh, let's grab a let's grab a shulker box to hold materials. So there's not that many, but I still just like having everything all in one place. Um, so we have shulker box there. If you can build a garden from there, you can sure build a gold farm. I know, right? You're, uh, you're crazy. You asked me to do this. Crazy nothing. I'll make this work. Aww. I was like, uh, I was like, yes, yes, I'm crazy. Yes, that is true. Um, but oh, I wasn't expecting the wholesome crazy enough to make it work. Aww. What is that garden farm happening by the slash J? I know it took so long to get it ha to get it done. I'm I'm really hoping that this won't turn into something that I just put a bunch of stuff in the shulker box and then say I'll get to that later and then never get to it. Um, let me. Hold up, let me let me pull up the materials list real quick. Materials list. Okay, so we need also Ender Pearl. Um, I, I, I'll I'll actually worry about that later. We need fifty four obsidian. Me when um me when I need fifty four obsidian. Luckily, I've got um a lot of obsidian. This says, uh, it has, my obsidian supplies have greatly been helped by the amount of trading that I've been doing lately. Wait, I need 54. Uh, the amount of, uh, the amount of trading with piglins I've been doing recently has somewhat bolstered my obsidian supplies, strangely enough. It'll happen anywhere, uh, from between, uh, two to, oh gosh, I gotta find the correct, uh, 60,387,463 business days. That sounds like an appropriate, um, that sounds like an appropriate, uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? The time, uh, time the interval for me. Um, uh, pretty nice, just in case you misplace. Fair, fair, fair. Um, you actually got that? I'm, I'm impressed, Quimby. Hey, what can I say? I, I like numbers. I like numbers and I like reading numbers. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll just bring like an extra, an, an extra amount of obsidian. Oh wait, that's obnoxious. I just have one. That's obnoxious. I'll just bring that. Your base model is a capitalist. So it makes sense. Well, listen, L listen. The capitalism is <clears throat> behind me nowadays. I just like counting. I just like counting things. Uh, I was gonna say maybe I do spruce trapdoors, but then I realized I, the oak trapdoors make sense more because then you can see what you're doing. So I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna do do it like that. How many of them do I need? Probably less than that, but uh, I I aim to overachieve. I aim to overachieve. Yeah, I just needed seven seventeen trapdoors, I think. Well, 36 is basically 17, right? 36 is basically 17. And I stand by that. I I really I really honestly truly believe that uh that, that 36 is basically 17. You deserve a treat for that? Heck yeah. It's just a little treat. Just a little treat for me. A little treat for me. Thank you very much. Um what else do I need? Need 12 ladders? Is that what that is? 
Oh, wait, I need smooth stone slabs. Um, hold up, hold up. Yeah, I do, um, I do like the smooth stone slab meta for this because I, I might have some downstairs. Let me check. Uh, because I agree that being able to count blocks is very nice. Turns out the pronoun extension doesn't use uh, pronoun DB, so you have to go to the website to change it. Oh no. How do you go to the website to tell someone your pronouns? That's so much effort. That's so much work. Um, okay, well, I certainly have smooth stone down here, but I don't actually see any smooth stone slabs. So. Let's just, uh, let's just do it that way. Four, 14 is a good number, right? Oh, it's getting late. It's getting, it's, it's getting on towards sleepy times, but not quite yet. What are you for? Oh, you are for, um, the kelp. Oh, uh, that's a future Quimby problem. That's a future Quimby problem. Hi, boo, Quimby. Yeah, what's up? They don't even have they heat. They don't even have they heat. Come on. Put a stone pressure plate on smooth stone and see what happens. I'm a bit sus, but I can't think of. Huh. That's very okay. Wait, that's that's actually very pretty. It just fits. It, it fits neatly into the um. It fits into the border. That's cute. That's cute. Ah! Sorry, bumped my my, my mouse there. Okay, yeah, that, that that's cute. That's cute, friend. Thanks for sharing. It's a perfect fit. Yeah, it just goes right into the pixels. That's very satisfying, actually. I could imagine myself if I was bored someday just, um, just placing a bunch of smooth stone and then putting, uh, putting pressure plates on it. I also need ladders. Do I have any ladders? Yeah, I have seven ladders. Um, I need more ladders than that. How many how many ladders will this make me? Not enough. Like not any actually. How many ladders will this make me? I have sixteen ladders now. How many do I need? I only need twelve. Sixteen's good. Um I know what to do with some oak dancing. Heck yeah. Oh, Max! Uh, yep, definitely you were first. Congratulations. Very proud of you there. Way to be first. Um, yeah. Here, let me drink some water. It's hydration time. Mm, tasty. Tasty, tasty, tasty. I need a bit more wood. There we go. Okay. What else do I need? I need uh, two chests, a crafting table, and a stack and a half of glass. So, let's see if I have any... Yep, I've got some extra chests laying around. Um, but, but do I have any extra crafting tables? I wouldn't be surprised if I do. Uh, maybe I don't, actually. Do I? I, I could have sworn I had some extra crafting tables somewhere. Maybe they're outside. Like it, it's not um, it's not that big of a deal if I need to just make a new one. But you know, I could have sworn I had some extra crafting tables just dinking around somewhere. Huh? Okay. Maybe I just make a crafting table. Um, there's something wrong with my Subnautica. No! No, what, what's going on with your Subnautica? What is it? Subnautica. It's a it's a good game. It's a good game, sir. It's a good game. I'm very sad to hear that you're, there's something wrong with yours. Why would it do this to you personally? Why would this be the way that it is? Well, I can't think of a place that a crafting table would be other than like these couple chests. Or barrels. So that's real awkward. That that's real sad and awkward actually. Um Yeah. Okay, um Boom. Bada bing bada boom. Um and then I also need um Ember Pearl. Do you have a barrel dedicated to um to tile entity? 
Maybe? What do you mean by tile entity? Because I, I probably do. That's probably not incorrect. Okay, then I've got my pickaxe. And I'm pretty sure I've got flint and steel in my uh, box of useful things. Yeah. Yeah. So I can just pop that bad boy out later. Tile entity means blocks which you can interact with. Um, pro no, I actually don't know that I do. I don't know that I do at this point, actually. Do you know how to get kyanite? <laughs> Just take kyanite out for a night? Oh, bless. Yeah, I know how to get kyanite. Um, for kyanite, you have to go to the, um, to the inactive or active lava zones. You have to go down big deep. And, um, most of the time you'll have to use the prawn drill arm attachment. Um, but if you go to the lava castle, you'll sometimes find individual kyanite crystals. Hope that, um, hope that answers your question. Um, oh, you know, an octosloth time. Heck yeah. I also need glass. Uh, let's do it this way. Let's do it this way. Hi, Bernard. Hope you're doing well, King. Hope the wife doesn't miss you too much. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. Where are the lava caves? And can I get the drill upgrade? So for the for the drill arm, um oh, I'm trying to remember where you can find um, drill arm fragments. I think maybe that might be like maybe um, one of the wrecks in the floating islands has drill arm fragments. Um, and then, uh, and, and the lava caves are down below the Lost River. So if you go to the Lost River, um, and then find your way even further down from there, you'll find yourself in the, um, in the lava zones. But be careful, there's a lot of warpers there. By the way, uh, I ordered a, an Idaho katana. It's gonna come in a few weeks. What's an Idaho katana? Is it from Idaho? Is, is that significant somehow? Unless that's- unless you didn't mean Idaho and it maybe autocorrected to something entirely different? That would be a bit silly actually, if autocorrect is like, hmm, Idaho. No, wait, uh... Wait, wait, is it, um... It, is is it just an uh, uh, <clears throat> is it just a katana from Idaho, or is it no? It's not a katana from Idaho. Okay, uh, we've got turtle egg, obsidian, trapdoors, slabs. Um, we've got uh, ladders. We've got chests. We've got um, a crafting table. We've got some glass. Uh, I don't think it mentions it in the material list, but I know that. And I know that later on we're gonna need, um, we're, we're going to need some smooth stone. So I'm just gonna grab some. Cause, uh, cause, cause yeah. Cause yeah. Let's just grab, I mean, I'm not using the smooth stone down here really. Yeah, let's just grab like two stacks of it. That should do. That's just a five minute recording of me failing at parkour. Heck yeah! I, I'm just like epic guitar riff plays and you put on sunglasses, you're like failing at parkour! Sorry, that was terrible guitar riff noises. By using a normal katana, you take out the cover and use it. After finishing the work, you put it back. But I know a katana is a katana, which is more curved for precise slashes. You also take it in and out for each attack. Interesting. Okay. Am I pronouncing it wrong? Is it not Idaho? Is it like... Hold on, uh, let me, let me internet this really quick. Um, I'm just getting the state of Ohio knife laws. As it's been feeling, you take it in out of the cover though. Oh, Pog. Um, Reaper is stalking my cyclops. Well, then don't take your cyclops into a place where the reapers are. Hmm. Uh, 
maybe maybe tracking down an Idaho, Idaho katana is um, is an endeavor for future Quimby. Because I certainly do not. You are pronouncing it right. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I've, I don't know that I've ever pronounced anything right in my life. So that's kind of crazy. That's um, I don't I don't know that I've ever said anything the way it was meant to be said, like ever at all, once. Kind of a momentous occasion for me. Kind of major. Just go to images for Idaho Katana. Got it. Images. I'm getting Dagger Katana 9 underscore 7 Fall River, Idaho. Um. Oh, now I'm getting some actual swords. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, all right, all right, all right. It was like, do you want to look at this river in Idaho? And I was like, no. Why would I want to look at a river in Idaho? What, what's up with that? Why, why Why? would that be relevant to this conversation? And they're like, I oh, know, I just thought you wanted to look at a river in Idaho. Okay, so now that we've got our project box together, um, I'm going to need to find a place to build this farm, and... Oh gosh, that's going to be a whole ordeal. That's going to be a whole ordeal, because I don't want to build it close to where I am now, because we're already starting to hit some lag with, um, with the things that I have now. So I'm definitely, definitely going to want to... Um, not do that. Let's just grab some, some some potions and stuff. So let's probably head to the nether and then see if we can fly out to a better section. Um, it's Idaho Katana, Idaho Katana. Still pronounces as uh, Idaho though. Ah, uh, okay. I was like Idaho. What? It's like well, I I didn't know that there was a, a grand tradition of making katanas in um in, in Idaho. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. Okay, all right. Okay, okay. I was like, I don't. I, you, you do you, friend. Okay. Um. Oh goodness, I'm glad we worked that out. Don't want to be cringe, but where's the floating islands? And it looks like I just don't know where to go. Uh, or wait, sorry, not not the uh, not the floating island. The um. Oh uh, gosh, what's it called? The uh. It's, um, it's like right next to the, um, to the island with the alien base, uh, but not really. So it's like, you're headed towards the, al to the mountain island. That's it. You're headed towards the mountain island, but you go left, but you don't go into the blood kelp zone over there. Um, there's just a bunch of like underwater floating island things held up by floaters. Um, and there's a big wreck there that I think has the has the fragments that you're looking for i don't remember ah wait i don't remember in particular because that is um it's been a hot second since i played subnautica but um e. so i'm just looking at all the things i've definitely i've definitely done this why is, is it not showing that i've completed it I also feel like I've done that, but okay. Okay, sorry. I, I'm going to get distracted by advancements for just a moment. Um, I need to look at the Ender Dragon through Spyglass. Um, throw a trident at something. Oh, gosh. Strike a villager with lightning. Uh, kill skeleton from at least 50 meters away. Bullseye. Kill one of every hostile monster, which apparently I have not done. Um... Oh man, I wonder what I'm missing. I don't want to use the totem of undying. Uh, trade with the villager at the build height limit. Oh, uh, yeah. Two phantoms with a piercing arrow. Um, surge protector. Oh boy, this one. Oh boy, that one. Um, oh boy. And love tape that blocks up from attack of a shulker. Respawn the ender dragon. I'm missing team up with an axolotl and win a fight. Oh, I don't think I've eaten an enchanted golden apple. I think that's what I'm missing there. I need to breed all the animals. Um, I've done six. I've done six out of 22. 
Okay, okay. Uh, what was I doing before I got distracted by advancements? I was making rockets because I'm going to need to go on quite the flight. Um... I'm gonna need to go on quite the flight here, so I would like to have some rockets on hand. Uh, can I go now? Should I go with Cyclops or Seamoth? Probably Seamoth. I think it would be kind of difficult to navigate through the area if you um, if you brought the Cyclops. And also, there's a bunch of bone sharks nearby, and bone sharks don't really like vehicles. Um, so that does mean that uh, is it nighttime? Yes, it is. Um, so that means that you'll have to probably keep a constant eye on your sea moth because the bone moths will try to- bone moths? Um, bone sharks will keep trying to attack it. So just a- just a heads up there. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, well let's head to the nether and see if we can find a nether waste, um, somewhere out remotely. Okay, for entering the space. I'm gonna have my sweater and gold helmet on. Okay. Things are looking pretty all right out here. Which way do we want to travel? I could probably maybe just go out that way. That looks pretty open, but I guess I haven't really explored the nether this way. Um. This is about to be the most terrifying experience of my life because I hate the nether and I'm about to go flying through it. So that's cool. That's kind of epic. That's fun times there. Ah. Okay, just checking to make sure I'm actually flying and not, you know, dying. Oh, hey, this area is where my fortress is. Okay. Hmm. Let's just see if we can travel through the space. Oh, this is terrifying. This is terrifying. I'm not a fan of this. Um, I mean, this is a nether waste biome. This one could be pretty good. How far are we from spawn? Um, okay, this should be at least uh, several hundred blocks away from my base. So this, this should be a good spot to avoid lag. Man, that was terrifying. Hardcore series is very chill though. Me being like, wow, I'm terrified. I'm having a bad time of it. This is awful. This is horrible. I'm not enjoying myself. And then we've just got like calm, chill, relaxing music in the background. Um, I'm being terrified for my life and it's it, and we're just we're just vibing to it. Listen, I, I never claimed to make sense. I just uh, I, I, I think I'm just a, a bit silly goofy sometimes. I'm running a bit low on um, nether gold after I smelted a bunch of the stuff I had, so I'm just um, taking this quick little opportunity to stock back up. I also like this place because it's relatively high up, uh, which means that I'll have an easier time getting um, up to the heights that I need to build the farm. Um, you don't even use totems? Well, I feel like the reason I don't use totems is because I'm terrified of of raids or woodland mansions. I feel like that's that's less of a less of a wow, I'm going to be so safe so I don't need totems and more of a um oh boy, the process of getting totems sounds very terrifying to me personally. I will avoid that. Um I will I will avoid that at all costs. I fear I fear I fear I fear is that gold? <laughs> okay, that one that one I'll I'll accept, Mr. Malook. I do. That yeah, okay. <laughs> Okay, I'll take it. I'll, I'll I'll take that one. That is um that is kind of the way that I am, admittedly. Admittedly, that is sort of the way that I am. Just have heaps of phones just resting my chest at my raid farm. I mean, maybe I'd do a raid farm at some point. A raid farm sounds more more chill than um than an actual raid, so. 
There is that. There is that for sure. Where? Where? Hmm. Have I ever mentioned that I hate gas with a passion? Have I ever mentioned it? Have I ever have I ever let you guys know that I hate gas? Making it is making it is an experience. Well, at the very least then I'd have totems, so then you guys would you know, there would not have to be like, haha, could be no use totems and there 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 would be that. Okay. I need some blocks, um, because I need to start moving upward to construct the spawn area. You're not alone, we all hate them with a passion. Yeah, guests are just the worst mob. Guests are just, um, have, have you considered that they are the worst mob? That they are absolutely awful and atrocious? Okay, let's pause there really quick so I can check how high up I need to be. Um, okay. Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay. Um, feet at Y118. Feet at Y118. Um, in live is rendering at uh, 21 FPS. I think I'll 3060 for nothing. I don't know what that means, but I hope you work it out. Thumbs up, smiley face. Okay, so let's just actually let's start by finding a chunk board. Wait, wrong, wrong debug. Um, F3 and G. Nope, nope, nope. F3 and B. No, it is F3 and G. Um, it is F3 and G. So. I'm kind of feeling like this is a pretty convenient chunk border, right? I could get I could get four chunks in here easy. So let's dig our way up. Okay. Okay. Just in case, you know. Just just in case. Just in case. It's G. There we go. Yeah. Th yep. Thanks, Penny. Sorry. Uh, I am. I'm, I'm just very silly sometimes. Is all. Okay. Uh, d don't you love when you're when you're just doing something normal and then block gremlin brain is like, oh wow, look. Oh wow. <clears throat> Blocks for you. Blocks for you in particular. And then I have to collect all of the blocks. Because they are for me. Because they are they're 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 a gift for me. Okay. Um how high up am I? One fifteen? Uh okay. Sixteen. Seventeen, eighteen. Feet at Y eight one eighteen. That is what Ian told us to do. Alright, well, what's what's next, Ian? What's um what what do I do next? Press F3 and G to turn on the grid lines for chunk borders, and follow the chunk borders to carve out a room that is two blocks tall and two chunks by two chunks in horizontal size. Thanks, Ian. Appreciate it. So I believe Oh wait, here it is. So I believe this is my intersection of chunks. So, um, hmm, how do I want to do this? Uh, I guess I can just dig until, dig until the end of, until I see the, the next blue line. Yep, okay, so there's that. And then, we'll do the same thing over here. Check down and ignore my terrible editing job. There was something at the end. Ten is where it's at. Okay. Okay, 100% unedited video. Mmm. A 100% unedited unedited video. It says you won. Smiley face. 
function, um, parkour reset, okay. Uh, okay, you're back at the beginning. I do like the, the pretty floor you've got going on there. That is kind of absolutely lovely. That, that's very pretty, Penny. For, you, you hit the two block thing there and I was like, just use blocks to block up. But then I remember that's a parkour map. So that's awkward. Oh, you fell. Me, me when I fell. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy, oh boy. Maybe I should get into doing parkour at some point. Maybe, maybe I should learn how to do parkour and then be, and then be not bad at how to move. Maybe, maybe that's the thing that I should do. Okay, it says finish room. Not so fast. Oh, you've got more to go. Okay. Okay. Wow, I'm so good. Me when I'm so good. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, you're jumping onto a little light thing. Oh, whoa, that did something. Oh, boy. Oh, wait. Oh, do you have to do boat parkour? <laughs> Did I just cut that? No, you would... No, you would never. No, you would never... You would never cut anything. That would be so silly. Ah! It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um... It's fine. Bup, 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 bup. You're doing your little hops. Little hop skips and jumps. Oh boy, and then it sends you on a stick. Oh, whoa! The piston, uh, it, it said bonk. Oh, that's so fun, actually. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. That's just, that's so cool. They just end here for some reason, even though I record more, so, mm, bless. That's so cool! Um,. The, 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 just the, uh, I don't know, I, I, I love the part where the, um, where, where the slime blocks, uh, just yeet. I thought that was very fun. Thanks for sharing, Penny, appreciate that. Wow, I have so many things in my inventory right now. Me. Just ignoring the fact that I'll have even more things in my inventory later. Okay. So I'm starting by digging out like the um the, the the sort of middle bits of what this room is gonna be. Um Ma'am Quimbleton. Yeah, what's up? Uh what's up, Rack? It's good to see you. Good to have you around. Um, hello, hello, hello. I hope you're doing well. I hope you are vibing and enjoying yourself. I am building a gold farm question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Rexer plus pretty you have all guys. Hey, can we record the coolest part? Nice. Just getting pushed up on my clipboard. Oh no. Oh, penny moment. Me when um. Me me when I uh. Me 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 when me when me me when push up. My brain just blanked there for some reason. I don't know what what that was about, but hi, hi, hi friends. Um, yeah, it's good to see you, Rack. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I yeah, I need a ton of crying obsidian, which means I need a ton of gold. So that's kind of currently my um, currently what I'm doing. I feel like um, I I feel like one of those uh one of those like. 49ers that is like it's about the gold yeah, yeah I gotta find like the, the the pure gold well that's not where I'm supposed to be I don't think unless it just opens up there and I'll need to cover it up oh I probably want two layers just in case I accidentally break one yeah that area is gonna be within the space hmm hmm let's see if I can build myself a little safety net here let's, let's see if I can just build a, a nice little safety net 
Okay, so it's not going to be a very big area that I need a safety net for. It's not, it's not going to be a, a huge area that I need a safety net. I'll just um clear that out really quick so I can make this. I'm scared. Uh, Subnautica is a very scary game, Max. That's all right. Subnautica is big spooky. It is it is big spooky scary. Did you um did you find something that you shouldn't have? T -t 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 did you stumble upon something which the eyes of mortal men were not prepared for? Cuz uh cuz been there done that. Um Subnautica is so scary. Actual horror game. Actual literal horror game. Uh, the, the, the morbid curiosity of like, so where are you? What's what, what's going on? What's the what, what's the what's the biome that you're in? Where 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 have you found yourself? Mm, steak. Never mind. I find some blue manta rays. I'm chilling with them. 100% lost. Blue manta rays. Okay, that sounds like you could either be in the lost river, or like the mushroom forest. You in the, you in the mushroom forest, King? Fun fact: If you take the word penny out a few liars and take a few spells, the best human on this planet. That's so true, Rack. Yeah, that is absolutely something that you can do. An absolutely real and true, uh, thing. It, um, that you that you have the possibilities to do. Um, uh, rip to rip to penny with the push with the push ups, but listen, you deserve it, King. Okay, I'm just gonna put some extra things into my box really quick for um for box purposes for 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 having inventory space. Um, cause I do not have a ton of inventory space at this moment in time. So it's fine. It's fine. Alright. So now we begin the process of clearing this whole area out. There might be like a pocket or so of lava, but there's no pools of lava up this high, so it should be like relatively safe. See like that. We have we have a little pocket of lava. But it is okay. Found the switch and get this. I nailed it on the bit. Nice, nice. Congrats, congrats. Way to, uh, way to nail it, King. Way, way to do that. Like, how much do I really need all this netherrack, though? I know I need a couple stacks for later, but. I mean, it's, it's probably, uh, I probably don't need to collect all of it. Pro probably, probably don't need that much netherrack. Probably it's fine. It's fine, it's totally fine. It's all fine and well and good and there's no problems. I'm really kind of hoping that I can get this done just like all in one day. Um, because tomorrow is definitely the 120 day, which means I'm going to be out and about, um, you know, searching for things. So, uh, so yeah. That's gonna be, that's gonna be an experience to have. I guess, okay, wait, hold on. One thing that I don't think the farm covered is how you're supposed to get to the farm every, uh, every time because, okay, so the killing area is in the nether. Maybe I just need to have, like, maybe I just need to build myself, um, like a nether roof portal that I can use to get to the nether roof always. That would be that would be the smart solution, wouldn't it? Look at Discord. I I will I will check Discord. What do you got? I have every right to be scared. Oh hey! You found it you made your way to the lost river. Um yeah, ghost leviathans uh I, I don't know how much you know about ghost leviathans, but they're not that bad. Uh ghost leviathans um will do They'll do like a big charge at you, which you should be able to dodge, um, and then uh, you you can just like mostly get out of their way. 
Ghost Leviathans aren't like Reapers. Uh, Reapers will gladly just mess your day up for fun. Ghost Leviathans uh, don't care as long as you're not bothering them. So, um, when do you plan on CSMP 120 stuff? I mean, presumably when 120 comes out and I have time to look at it and figure it all out. S uh, s smile. Um... Yeah, I'll uh, I will I'll, I'll make it a, a like a priority. Like if I ever have like free time and want to work on something, I will for sure make updating CSMP a priority once 120 comes out. They murder me a lot of times. Well, then you need to get good, cause cause ghost leviathans are um they're 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 decently okay to deal with. Um, decently okay to uh, okay to deal with once you know how to do, how to deal with them. Okay, and it looks like you're in the bone fields. Um, there should be there's more lost river behind the bone fields, and um, and once you get past the ghost there at the beginning, then it's it's pretty relatively safe to be honest. It's it's pretty relatively safe once you get beyond that point. Um, I've never played some cup. I've watched uh, Quimby play it. And yes. Not name the second part of the video untitled uh, untitled too too fast too good at parkour.mp4 nice because the vibes equals bees but reapers equal wasps that's a that's a really good explanation actually that's a good way to look at it ghost leviathans um ghost leviathans will do more damage on an attack um but also like are, are generally not that bad as long as you like don't uh, avoid their notice um, and then wasps, uh, sorry, and then, yeah, the uh, reapers are like wasps, they'll just gladly, they will gladly decide to just mess your day up. So check down, that's our Senate, nice. Um, uh, actual unedited video, nice. Okay, okay, okay. You're going, you're going, doing, doing that parkour, doing well. Bring good armor for the, for the heating, so I'm going back to base. Mmm, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Also, the Seamoth can't go down to the depths of the, um, Seamoth can't go to the, uh, the inactive or active lava zone, so, uh, you're gonna need the prawn suit for that. The prawn suit or a cyclops can actually make it down that low, but, a prawn suit's a good one to have for, whoa, okay. Whoa, sorry, I just, uh, Penny was doing, um, was doing slime block uh, slime block jump and it was like whoa yo is that pressure plates on sand whoa whoa you won yeah congrats penny congrats on winning you did it i'm so proud of you oh wait i i need to pull up the um i need to figure out the next step in the tutorial okay we oh we need to check that the entire room is nether waste also, I need to check that it's 32 by 32, um, so, E. Another waste, um, another waste. We're still in the nether waste. That's good, that's good. Um, I kind of feel like at this point I can definitively say that the entire room is the nether waste. That feels, that feels like a thing that I can say at this point in time. Um, let's, let's do some quick counting until it's unedited because I had the stopping OBS moment. Mm hmm Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Got him. Got him. I have an idea. Yeah, go ahead. Um, but first. Oh. We have a but first. Uh, hold on. And then you'll need to dig out a few blocks from the portal. Okay, wait. Punks intersect and build the frame for another portal. You'll need to dig out a few blocks from the floor and ceiling to make room for the obsidian frame. Okay, so it looks like it does not matter 
where in the intersection I put the portal, so I'm just gonna put it right there. Uh, one, one, two, three. Okay. That should be that. Okay, let's just place the shulker box right there for right now. One, two, three, one, two. Okay, that's the that's our frame. What's our next step? Um, goes to the CSMP instance. Do, 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 do. To the CSMP instance. Let's go. Let's go. When you're done, write down the X and Z coordinates of the portal, or take a screenshot. This is critical information that you will okay. definitely need later on. I always hate doing this part because, um, because I get so worried that the coordinates aren't going to be correct. All right. So we are at um, here. Let's make it. Let's make it this block definitively. We are at negative six thirty nine. Um, negative two twenty three. That is, that is the coordinates for this block right here. The that's the coordinates for this block right here. <sighs> All right. What's our what's our next step, Ian? Where do we go from here? Now place ten blocks to make a small room for the turtle egg next to the portal, so that the only way to okay. reach the egg would be to go through the portal. But, but do not place the egg. egg. Because any zombie piglins nearby will immediately try to trample it. Okay. Instead, build a staircase to get your feet to Y121. And then Okay. Alright, we're on to <clears throat> we're on to further chunk clearing. Okay. So we do We do that. Build a little room. This is where the egg is gonna go, but we don't do that yet. Instead, we, um, instead we dig up till our feet are at 120. Right here? Is that where we go to? Oh gosh, I've immediately forgotten. 121. It's 121. Because then we've got a one block uh, difference between this and the bottom floor. Got it. Okay. 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 I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Clearly 100% know what I'm doing. Okay. Let's um let let's dig out. All right. So this is going to be That's going to be the end of that way. And then, oh gosh, from here I should really just, like, build a square, right? I, I should just build a square. It's so tricky, chat. It's so tricky to, um, it's so tricky to build the things. And that was the center, so as long as I just make a square in the way it's meant to be. Okay, so then this is one. I need to go two. Two chunks this way. Because I am I'm building the sides of the square. Okay, so that is that is two chunk. And now I go two chunk this way. Okay, so that's one. Okay. And then that's two. Whew. Check C and B. Alright, I'll take a look. Oh, log in C B. C and B my sock is fun. Nice. It's so tricky to build the things. Clumpy has amazing hobbit hole and many wonderful builds. It's so tricky. Probably got I did this. Oh, nice, Penny. Nice. That looks real good. That looks real good. Could be tricky sometimes. I just know you can do it. Yeah, no, that's fair. It's just a bit tricky is all. It's just a bit tricky. That's that's all that's happening here. It's, it's, it's just a bit tricky. It's just... It's just a little tricky. It's, it's so tricky to build the things that I know that I can build. It's so difficult. It's so hard. Have, have people? Have, has anyone considered that it's very that's very difficult to be a, a Quimby who needs to build the things that I that, that are very easy? 
you know, it, it, it's it's a very simple process, really. But has anyone considered that it's just very tricky to do that? So yeah, we just need to clear out the space, and then I did bring ten extra obsidian. Um, I think what I'm gonna do, try is once I get to the nether roof, I'm actually gonna take a quick detour back over towards where my base is, and I'm gonna build myself a like a, a nether roof portal, a, a portal that I can that I can use to get to the nether roof instead of like regular nether. So I'll probably need to I'll probably need to space a little ways away from my regular portal. Um, but luckily my regular portal should just be at like zero zero, so or somewhere thereabouts ish. I think. Don't don't quote me on how the Nether works. I couldn't tell you to be honest. Um, but yeah, we'll probably just do a little side detour to make sure that I can get back up to the Nether roof when I need to. Because I really don't know how I'm supposed to enter the farm. Um, I, re I really don't know how I'm, I'm supposed to enter the farm if I don't already have nether roof access. So, that, that'll be a fun one. That'll be a fun one. Wow, look at all the news. Nether rack. Close am I? I mean, I've got. I, I'm, a, I'm about halfway there. Oh, we're halfway there. Whoa, living on a prayer. Take my hand, we'll make it. I swear. Whoa, living on a prayer. Me when, me when we're living on a prayer. You know. You, you feel that? Because that's how I feel every day. Wait, unless does it make another portal that you're intended to be able to go through? <sighs> I don't remember if there's a way, uh, if if there's a built-in way to get back to the farm or not. I, I think I'd like a, another roof portal anyway, but maybe there's already a way to do it. Maybe there's maybe there's already a a, a thing there. Oh no. The nether roof the nether roof in particular is just very tricky sometimes. Like have has anyone considered that's just very tricky to know how to navigate with the nether roof? Check season B once the bio's loaded. Uh done. I right, I'll take a look. Um got some new shaders, but they're very laggy, so I only really use them for pictures like these. Oh, those are gorgeous. Those are some very lovely shaders, Penny. Man, maybe at some point I should use shaders. I just noticed my pickaxe is like at half their ability. Whoa. I guess I've been doing a lot of digging. Um, it's fine. I'll get some XP to heal it up later. Um, okay, so now we've got our upper our upper spawning chamber section. Let's figure out what we need to do next. Is the reinforced diving suit for heat or not? Yes, reinforced diving suit will um will help you with heat. Processed. For shaders, you do need the dreaded fine. Well, it's not that I don't like Optifine. It's just that I don't want to talk about it. I don't. I don't. I don't want to talk about it right now. I'll, I'll get to it at some point. Of clearing out a two chunk Let's listen to Ian. Ian will. Ian will tell me what I need to do. He'll tell me. He'll let me know. In each corner of the spawning area, create a two by two hole between the two layers. Cover the hole with trapdoors and then open them so that regular. All right, all right, all right. We're gonna we're gonna just make a, a little a, a little a little two by two by two hole at each of the corners at this point. I should probably have the trapdoors out, shouldn't I? I left my shulker box downstairs. Not a good look for me in particular. Um, here I'm gonna need sp inventory space. Uh, ba 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 ba. Yeet. Um, uh, redacted apex mc co. Hmm. Wait, sorry, I'm I'm a I'm a little confused. What? Huh? Huh? Hmm? What? Huh? Huh? What? Hmm? Hmm? Huh? Hmm? Huh? What? Huh? Pink, 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 pink. Let's 
uh, let's also do that. So then I have. Da -da -ba 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 -ba. No, I want these facing the other way. Yeah, let's do that. Um, quick run back upstairs because I'm just a little silly sometimes. I'm just a little silly guy. I'm just very silly. Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba -ba. It is kind of legitimately giving me a bit of anxiety how low on durability my pickaxe is, but I mean, it's it's fine. If I really get worried, I can just switch to a different pickaxe. I, I have I have the capability to just switch to new pickaxe. It's fine. My pick service not just have an IP, but free sub to me for Apex Oh, whoa. Nice. Good for them. Way, way to go. Okay. And then, yep, I've already dug this corner out. I just need to. Bop, 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 bop. Nice and nicely. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, let's listen to Ian again. Despawn as they try to flee from zombie piglins. Okay. Back in the center of the room, place two blocks over the portal frame and extend mm -hmm. the walls of the staircase to the ceiling. Go down the staircase and okay. wall it off behind you. On the other side of the portal, remove the two netherrack blocks overhead. Okay, let's let's start with this. Um. So I place those like that and then I do the the walls of the staircase and then I'm supposed to wall it up as we go back but in what way am I supposed to do that next to the portal opening wait the Ian go back for me go back for me for a minute go down the staircase and wall it off behind you on the other side of the portal okay okay so I am supposed to do that. Okay. So, oh wait, that means that um, I don't need these blocks here because that's going to get covered up by this right here. Nope, not there. Not there, please. By that. Okay, so then here, I remove those two, so that gives them an avenue to come down. Uh, are pigmen not zombified pig <laughs> piglins? Piglins are pig and piglins pigmen are not. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I I call them um, zombified piglins sometimes too. Uh, I forget lapis when I use enchanting tables. How could you tell? Mm. Rip. <clears throat> if ain't red, ain't dead. I kept durability. Quote cool. Max Nature Link. That's fair, Max. You're you know you're actually very right about that. I do just stress a lot about the about the health of my tools. Uh, because I'm just that way. The two netherrack blocks uh, I'm just that way, though. So that zombie piglins on the higher platform can drop down and enter the portal as well. Okay. Place the turtle egg on top of the bottom step of the staircase and set a trap door to prevent zombie piglins from trampling it. Finally, after Okay. Um, I need to go to my shulker box again. Wow, I've still got just a lot of things in my inventory, including so many netherrack blocks. Um, yeet! So we've got turbo egg. And I'm also gonna need, actually, my, um, flint and steel for this. So let's pull out of my box of useful things. Uh, yeet! Okay. Bop, bop, and then... Up. Okay. And that should be everything I need for right now. Does reinforcements help against radiation or not? It does not help against radiation. If you want help against radiation, you are going to need to be wearing the radiation suit or um, plug the, rea the Aurora's reactor. Is that an unenchanted blood and steel? I could never. I don't use it that often and I kind of don't care about it. Like, I don't know, it's, it, it's not really friend-shaped. It's not, it's not really friend-shaped. So, uh... No. There we go. 
that's what we want. Okay, so now we light the portal, but we do not go through it. Here, I should probably pick my box up at this point. Um, let's do it that way. Nope, not like that. Like that. Nope. Like that. Yeah. 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 That's good. That's good. Okay. Um, let me just activate the portal. To do not go through the portal. Take a moment to double check your work. Make sure that there's no way to reach the turtle egg other than going through the portal. Mm -hmm. Make sure that the turtle egg is sitting on a solid block, is shielded by a trap door, and has at least two air blocks over the egg. Okay, let's do, let's take care of that real quick. So, there's no way for it to get through. Solid block, there's two blocks of air above it, yes. Alright, the checks have been completed. We have, we have completed the checks. Make sure that the portal is activated, that you have the X and Z coordinates uh -huh, for the uh -huh. portal recorded, I do. and that there's a hole in between the spawning layers next yes. to the portal for zombie piglins to drop through. Alright. Check each corner to make sure that there is a 2x2 two two hole in between spawning layers, and that you have yep. open trap doors in each. Now set a ladder in a corner to get yourself up to the higher layer, and check again that there's no way to reach the egg other than dropping down and going through the portal. Now we need no oh boy, it's nether roof time. Um, hold on, I, I need my my box out. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna put all this nether rack in there. And is this a bad idea? Maybe, because I don't think everything up above has despawned yet. But you know what? It's fine. No, I know it has. Okay, that's great. Oh boy, it's, um... It's, it's, it's nether roof time. Okay, this one's at 125. That's a bit better, but it's still not quite high enough. Um... I kind of want to fill all this in. Um... But yeah, fill that in to indicate that it's uh, a bit that hasn't worked yet. Um. That's not quite it. Um. I feel like that's not it either. Hmm. That's not it. That's not it. scared me. It's fine though. It's fine. It's it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's to totally fine and normal and okay and there's no issues here. Okay. Um, how, how, how high up is this one? Oh, still 125. We're looking for we're looking for uh, 127, so. Nope, not quite yet. I am looking for 127, right? 126 or 127. I will... I, I'm pretty sure I'm looking for 126 or 127. Okay, that's 126. Um, I would, I would like a 127. There is one there. I'd have to get in some tight quarters to reach it. Um, I'll I'll leave that one open, um, and come back to it later. I'd love a I'd love just a a real easy, a real easy one twenty seven, but I am I'm willing to, I'm I'm willing to put in some time and patience to look for it because it's very it's, it's big scary. It's just big scary is all. I mean, I don't know, maybe, maybe it is my best bet, though. Maybe, oh, maybe going, going through the cracks to get to that 127 is going to be what I want. Hmm. Hmm, I mean, I'll, 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 I'll still look. It doesn't hurt anything to still look. 
it does not hurt anything to still look. Okay, I'm actually kind of interested in exploring over to here. But no, not quite. I mean, unless, unless these sections in here have something. Don't trust it. No, no, that, that's going to be a no for me there. That's going to be a, sorry, I think we're going to be looking for different candidates. I don't know. I'm probably overcomplicating this. I am all. I am almost certainly overcomplicating this. It's just. It's just big spooky, you know. It's just. It's just big spooky to get up to the nether roof, especially when you're when you're when you're such a little quimby. Um. Okay, that's a 126. Don't really see a 127 nearby though. I'll I'll keep my options open there. I'll, I'll keep my options open. No reason to not. Mm, don't think that's quite it. Uh, have I almost reached all the way around the room with my with my search? I mean, I. I do. There is a one twenty seven over there. I could squeeze myself into the space like use the elytra to um to fly into the one by one block place the ladder and then do it that way but would that break things if i'm already in a if i'm already in a small space like that it, will that cause problems do i just need an accessible one where i can hang on a, on the ladder and not be um and and, and not be uh horizontal I mean, that's, that's 126, right? Yeah, that's 126. Ah! Ah! Hey chat, for all you, um, for all you nether roof enjoyers out there, do you know if, um, Okay, I guess I could stand there. Oh, but that's 126. That's not 127. Hmm. Do you know if I have to be able to be standing on the ladder or will or or will being um like will will, will being in swimming position on the ladder work as well? Let's start just filling this in now. Hmm. Let's head up, I guess. Uh, standing must happen. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I kind of figured. Um, and you know, always, always better to be safe about it, especially in hardcore. Mind me, just, 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 uh, just filling some things in. Mostly, I want to get like these bits that it goes up a little higher, but it's not something that I can use. Um, yeah, that's a one twenty six. Hmm. Huh. Let's 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 just uh let's do big looks, big big look sees. Hmm. Nothing there. Oh, it would really be so cool if um. It really would be so cool if there was just a an accessible 127 around here. That would be that'd be kind of epic if there was a 127 that I could reach and not be 
not not be horizontal on. See, that's definitely a. Nope. I'm making a mess of this place. I'm I'm gonna have to clean all this up later. I'm for sure gonna have to make a mess. Uh, have to, to clean all this mess up. Um. Okay. 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 Bop. Bop. Hmm. 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 I get so excited every time I see that it, um, that it goes up higher. And then it never goes up high enough. Yeah, so see, that would just take me to a 126. Although I guess I could explore through here, seeing if there's nope, there's not a uh, there's not a way for me to stand from there. Huh. But yeah, all this is gonna have to get cleaned up so that it's still just a like two by two area in here, and I I'm just keeping that in the back of my brain constantly as I'm doing all of this. I'm just kind of remembering that and fearing for my future. Hmm. I mean, 126 would probably work. 126 would probably work, right? People always say, like, 126 or 127, but I really just want an actual 127. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. I can hear the piglins spawning, so, you know, at least we know that that works. At least we know that works. Oh, wow. Well, they'll probably start entity cramming soon enough if, um, if, uh, if nothing happens. Pretty sure I've already looked over here. Yes, I have. Here, let's, um... Let's just fill everything that we can in here as a sign that I've already been in this area and have looked. Hmm. Well, this is kind of cringe. This is kind of cringe. Hmm. This is a 126, right? Oh, that's a 125. Whoa. Yeesh, tough crowd, tough crowd. Well, let's uh, just fill it in. I mean, I'm really, I'm, I'm really wondering if I just should move on to a 126. I am terrified of it, but I'm, I am wondering. Absolutely terrified, but uh, but you know. Hmm. Nope, not like that. Like that, thank you very much. The funny part is I can't even remember where that like 126 and 127 I found earlier was. Yeah, that's a 126. That's a 126 right there. I'm like, what if what if it was just all that height and taller? What if, what if it was just all that way? Um, I just created a great cobblestone farm. It starts its output in a giant slab burn, so you can let it run them mine it. Ooh, nice! Hey, Penny. Um, we're we're, we're pretty sure if I wanted to check with you because you you know a lot about um the craft. Does it matter when um when when finding like a a, a place to put your ladder to get up to the nether roof. Does it matter if you're like 
horizontally or do you have or do you have to be standing oh you probably do have to be standing so that you're at so that you're like for sure on the ladder huh oh wait hold on i just realized why that would probably that's a, yeah why that why that matters <sighs> i'm having a real tough time finding uh finding 127 that i can get this onto I've like I've I've like been destroying the roof over here. You'd be saying so that already. Why don't you trust me? Well, because I didn't I, I couldn't figure out why, and then I just realized the mechanics behind it, Max. So that wasn't that I don't trust you. That was that it wasn't making sense to my brain. Um, it wasn't making sense to my brain, and I needed to figure it out. Uh, to be able to to make sense of it. How many pearls do you have? Oh, I just brought the one. I probably should have brought more, huh? I was like, ah oh, yes, I just need one pearl. Probably would have been smart to bring like three. Oh well. Well, if you can, uh, if you crawl into this spot, then, um, then crawl in it and make lift and stand. Well, I only brought one, unfortunately. But I feel like trying to trying to do a glitch um, feels dangerous because then what if I. Uh, what if I what if I start suffocating? You know, I don't I don't want to suffocate. See, so yeah, Max, it's less a, it's less a matter of I don't trust you and more of a matter of I don't understand. But now I do, so it's fine. What if I just what if I just dig every single piece of netherrack in this area? That's a one twenty six. Um, how did I find a 127 so easily the first time I did this? How did I, how did I manage this? Also, I'm definitely going to have to repair this later. Don't, don't worry about it. It's fine. I'll just fix it later. I'll, I'll fix it later. Um, am I in the, the bedrock tub? Uh, I can't type. type. Ah, yes. Um, mining, mining the bedrock. Everyone's favorite method of getting rid of bedrock. The the way that everyone uses to get rid of bedrock because it works so well. That's a one twenty six. Chat. Do I just take the one twenty six? I mean, do I do I just take it? It'll probably work, right? Ah, but that's so scary. That's so scary to take the 126. Cause what if I what if I just heck and die? What if I just absolutely perish? You think I just take the 126 penny? Hmm. Uh, how deep does it need to be? Uh what what do you mean by, by how deep? You did a city you could do this. Well, but like I, I guess the, the the main concern there is just um it does does both one twenty seven and one twenty six just work or is there a chance one twenty six doesn't work? Is there is, is there a chance that it uh that it doesn't go? How tall? Um two blocks. I need two blocks of height. So yeah, I guess if um Yeah, there's that little spot up there. Uh but that's not that's not necessarily a better spot than some of the other ones I've had. Okay, I'm not another roof expert. Okay. We're we're looking this up. We're looking this up. Um does uh Y one twenty six or um Hold on, I can't type. 126 or 127 work for nether roof. Uh, ba -ba -ba. I'd say use two pearls for six. Hmm. Let's see. Well, I only have the one pearl. I could go home for it. That could be a bit complex. Um... 
Let's see. Oh, well, this, I, this was like, this is a cool tip for finding the, the things. And I was like, wow. And then it was like, go into a creative world. It was like, go into a creative world and search it. And I'm like, no! No, stop. I think, I think I want to find a 127. I think at the end of the day, uh, I just don't feel good about 126. Hmm. This is a 126 though, isn't it? That's a 126. It's like a fun tip for for finding uh fun fun tip for finding 127. Um just just don't just don't. Just go into a different world. I'm like shut up. Okay. This is all on 126, isn't it? But it's kind of the best area I've had for it. Um, ah, but I don't want to explore into there on the off chance that I can't escape. So maybe we just cover that up. I don't want to. I don't want to go any further into that because I only have the one Ender Pearl. Hmm. Getting stuck in Bedrock would be a miserable way to end this hardcore run. Not super a fan of that one. That's 126! Why is it so hard to find a 127? I'm like, I don't want much. Just a place where the barrier between um, between this world and the and, and the, the roof of this world is thin enough that I can get what I want. But, but, nope. How did I do this so easily the first time? I feel like I found a 127 like instantly last time I was looking for it. Huh. Okay, well, here I go, continuing to mine everything. Try this is gonna be such a pain to fix afterward. This is gonna be such a pain to clean up. Oh well. Oh well. It's fine. Hmm. Yeah, it's fine. It's it, it's it's all fine. It's all good. It's, it's all in the name of greater survival. It's all in the name of greater survival. That's all. I mean, I, I guess I could hop into another world to test the 126 thing. Um, just if, like, just to be sure that it works. Huh. How did I do this so easily the first time? How did I... How did I manage it with no problems? Just destroyed my seamount has been since day one. Revenge or acceptance? Choose revenge, obviously. Um, do you have the do you have the stasis rifle? Because stasis rifle is the key to Reaper slaying. <gasps> Wait, is that it? No, it's a one twenty six. Oh my goodness! It's so easy to get turned around in here. I will get him now. Yeah, do you want- uh, so you can do it with a knife and go for like an epic battle or if you want to- um, if you if you don't want to do a big- a, a big spooky epic battle. If you just get a ton of gasopod um, pods, then after you- after you like lock the reaper in place, if you just stasis rifle it, then um, or sorry, stasis rifle it and then drop all the pods and it'll die. You need like- like a ton of them though, like 20. Okay, what's over here? 
This is 126. Hmm. I seriously did it so much, so much easier last time. I maybe I just got really lucky. Because not only am I not finding like any good 127 spots, I feel like I'm not finding just any 127 spots. <gasps> oh, wait, unless it's that one. No, it's a 126. Oh my goodness. I swear to goodness gracious. Oh my gosh. Why is it like this? Why is it like this? Ah! You know what? Maybe here's what we do. <clears throat> guess what I'm going to do? I guess I'm guessing that you're going to use the knife. Um, which I think is, which, which I think is an honorable thing to do. Uh, I just, you know, in case you didn't know about the gasopod thing, I wanted to let you know. Chat, I'm just gonna fill all this up and I'm going to find a separate path to the other roof. I'm gonna dig into, like, one of these walls here. Because, you know, I just can't be bothered at this point. I just absolutely can't be bothered. Because, because who cares? Who cares if I don't find it within this specific place? I know the coordinates of the portal. I know what I'm doing. I can just, um, not. Right? I can just not. Just say no to... To trying to find a, a spot to go to the nether roof in an area that isn't working. Just say no to it. Just say no. Just say no. Just say no. Just say no. Ah! That's a 126. I got excited for a second. Like, wait. It was a, it was a 126. Say no to doing it or say no to it not working. Say no to it not working. Um, say no to the futile efforts of, of trying to work in a space that isn't working for you. Here, let me just pick up some more netherrack. I'm gonna need a ton of it to to heal this area. Probably more than I actually have, so that's fine. Created a micro smart piston designed to automatically move cobble between the slabs. Heck yeah. It's like pink pink pink. Doopa doopa doop. Moving the moving the cobble between the slabs. Okay, chat, unless I just, like, save my world before doing a 127. Unless I just, uh, unless I just do, like, world save and then, um, and then if, like, the 126 thing doesn't work, then, then we, we just call that, like, error. But that feels, oh, but, but that feels cringe. That, that feels like cheating. That feels like cheating. Man, I really did a number on this place. I really did quite a number on this place. Um, say no to paying taxes? Well, no, because then the IRS will just arrest you, and then you won't be able to, um, to accomplish any real significant good. Uh, you know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta work with the system if it will harm you to not. I mean, that's a 126. I don't know, chat. Maybe we just do it. Maybe maybe it's just a fool's errand to get to 127. Let me pick up some more blocks. Thank you, blocks, for being picked up. <sighs> ah! It is cheating to use 126? Do you, do you, it's cheating to use 126? I'm pretty sure it's not. Okay, had 
to make sure there was nothing above it that I was cutting out. Um. Da, 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 is that my spot? Is that where I said I was gonna go? Um, is cheating not that fun in Minecraft? Uh, I'll, yeah, probably. Cause, um, cause Minecraft is meant to be fun, so, you know, you should, you should just have fun with it. Okay, chat, I'm also realizing that it is time for me to, um, get ready to go to work. So, uh, so that's probably where we're going to leave things for today, is, um, is that I need to fix this whole area up, and I will do some research on how it works to use 126 instead of 127. I will, I will research that. I'm a glutton for punishment. I, I just, I just have to check. I just, I just had to check. Um... Yeah, I'll do some research on your playthrough to use electric swim boots. I didn't. Um, I, at least I don't think I did. Uh, I think I focused mostly on speed. On, like, speed and how much I could breathe. Those were the two main factors that I tried to consider constantly. Is how fast I'm moving and how much I'm breathing. Um, so, yeah. I will I will do some research on uh, on the differences between using 126 and 127 um, and then we will get back into it tomorrow and it'll be fine it'll be so fun uh, see you in 120 oh yeah no that's crazy well tomorrow's 120 whoa somehow I forgot about that somehow I forgot about that um huh well um we'll deal with that's a future Quimby problem that's a future Quimby issue, you know, uh... Maybe we leave the gold farm for a bit tomorrow to just go... Ser to go 120 searching. I don't know. That's a, t that's a tomorrow me problem. Oh, chat, wait, wait, hang on. Do you want to see my cookie clicker really quick? Wait, hang on. <clears throat> hang on two seconds. Let me grab, let me grab cookie clicker. I want to show, show you guys all the progress I've been making. Um... Here we go, and bam! Cookie clicker. Yeah, golden cookie, let's go! Um, I'm gonna, gonna do a quick little, uh, quick little, quick little funky thing to see if I can get a combo. Oh, yep, that's a combo. Um, yeah, so, this is, just, just in case you were wondering how my cookie clicker is going, it's going really well. It's going quite absolutely fantastic in fact and this combo that we uh that we pulled up is actually one of the more powerful ones that i can get so i'm about to just um i'm, I'm about to make bank is all is all i'm gonna say about that oh i was i was hoping i'd make it to uh to 52 anyways um yeah things are going really well around here my my, my cookies are popping off i've i've gotten pretty rich i might uh sell some stocks in a moment um, and that's, that's, j just wanted to show you all, um, th thanks for, for your patience there. I think we're going to go ahead and skip a raid today because I'm running short on time. Um, so make sure you all drink water and eat food and take care of yourselves. And, um, and you know, if you're leaving Twitch, go find someone cool to watch. If you're staying, uh, or wait, no, if you're leaving Twitch, go have a nice day. If you're staying on Twitch, go find someone cool to watch and I will see you all later. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>